Hello, beautiful people of YouTube, beautiful people of Twitter, and bitches on Reddit. Welcome to a new series that we're doing. Uh, this is going to be a should you roll series. Uh, basically, we're going to talk about each and every single class and why should you roll them? Why would you roll this class? So today, we are talking about the scoundrel, of course, that back-blasting... <laughs> I've ran out of things to say about them. They are back-blasting, dirty, low-down scoundrels. That's what they are. So the scoundrel, uh, this will apply to the operative, of course. Uh, so if you're thinking of rolling an operative, so it would be should you roll a scoundrel slash operative, but for the purposes of this video, all the terminology used will be scoundrel terminology. So if you're going to roll an operative, this video does still apply to you, but we are using all the terminologies. The classes are the exact same, so we're not going to make a separate video for the operative, because we'd just be saying the same things. We'd just be parroting the same video over and over again, because everything that applies to the scoundrel applies to the operative. The only exception is your shotgun is replaced by a knife, so anything that we requires our shotgun, anything we talk about with a shotgun is going to be just replace it with a knife because it's the same thing. Back blast, backstab, same thing. Head and strike and shoot first. Same thing functionally, they just have different animations, that's all. That's it. They use a different weapon of course, but they're functionally the same class, so if you're thinking should I roll a scoundrel or an operative, it depends what story you want to do. The agent story or the smuggler story. Again, I prefer the agent story personally, so if you want that question answered, there you go. My personal preference, but the scoundrel, what an awesome class they are. We're going to talk about this video, we're going to talk about what it's like to level as a scoundrel. We're going to talk about uh, if they're good at thing, what they're good at and what they don't do so well. So scoundrels, for leveling a scoundrel, it is pretty fun. They are a fun class to level. They are a, a really fun class to play. Uh, all stealth classes are fun to level. There's only two in Swotor. You've got your Scoundrel and your Shadow slash, slash Assassin. Uh, so why should you roll a Scoundrel? Well, the stealth gives you a massive advantage while leveling. And the biggest advantage it gives you is you do combat on your own terms. You're not forced to fight all the trash. If we go into like a Smuggler instance or an Agent instance... And we have to. We have a bonus quest that says kill 10 things. You can just kill 10 guys. That's it. Kill 10 things. 10 people, 10 droids, 10 animals, whatever. Uh, it will just be... You just have to kill 10 of them. And when you're finished, you can just pop into stealth. And just run past the rest of, your, rest of those enemies. There are a few things that have stealth detection. Which is quite annoying, I find. But most... Places don't for the smuggler, whereas the gunslinger, on the other hand, has to kill... Maybe there's 15, 20 enemies, and the bonus quest requires you 10 to kill 10 enemies. Uh, the gunslinger has to fight every single enemy that, that blocks his path. Whereas the scoundrel can pick and choose where you fight. You get that control over how you fight and who you fight most of the time. Some things that annoy us as a scoundrel are fights where... We come out of a cutscene into a fight, that really annoys us, and the reason it really annoys us is because one of our abilities, shoot first, or hidden strike, if you're an operative, uh, can only be used in stealth, so we have to sneak up on our targets. That's why we don't like enemies with stealth detection, and we don't like fights that just come out of a cutscene right into a fight. It does ruin our DPS. Now, we'll talk a little bit about our endgame DPS later on, but leveling... Overall, as a scoundrel, is pretty nice. Um, you also have the option of being a healer as a scoundrel. Scoundrel can play as a healer or a DPS. Uh, gives it gives it more flexibility, I feel, than the gunslinger. The gunslinger, we'll talk about the gunslinger in another video, but I find the gunslinger a bit boring. The scoundrel is way more interesting, if you ask me, than the gunslinger, personally. I find. I just think they're a good class. Um, are they a good beginner class? If you're a new player to the game, unless you really, really like playing rogues, I would say they're not the best beginner class. They're, they're alright, I mean, but they can get a little bit annoying to play. You've got two resources to manage. You've got your upper hand and you've got your energy resource to manage. So it can get a little bit... They're certainly more complicated than the gunslinger. The gunslinger is probably easier 
as a class to level certainly uh, in terms of abilities that they're pretty easy. The problem is, and we're going to touch on this now, we're going to touch on them at end game. At end game as a DPS, it used to be that the scoundrels were a bit of a joke DPS wise. They used to be referred to as a little bit of a joke. You're a scoundrel, you're a healer, and that was it. You couldn't DPS. Uh, now they're pretty viable, I would say. They're pretty fun as DPS. The big problem with the scoundrels as DPS is that their DPS is very situational. You have to be behind the target to use back blast and shoot first. You can only use shoot first every two minutes because it requires you to be in stealth and the cooldown for your combat stealth which is disappearing act is two minutes. So you can shoot first, you can hit your shoot first, do your little uh, rotation. I prefer scrapper to be honest with you. I don't never never really play dirty fighting. I play that on my gunslinger so I don't want to play the same spec, <laughs> so I've never really tried it, to be honest with you, because I'm not playing two different classes as the same spec, to be honest with you. I want to play the, the spec that's more unique to the scoundrel, if you get what I'm saying. And Scrapper is that spec, so with Scrapper, you get your little first rotation off, then you pop your Disappearing Act, and you got to be careful when you pop Disappearing Act that there's no raid-wide damage going out at the time. So again, that's why I don't recommend them as a kind of newbie class, because you really have to know the fights. You, you have to say, right, there's no raid-wide damage here, I can pop my stealth, I can hit my shoot first again. Because if there is, you're just going to get hit and boom, you're, you can't use your shoot first, and you just blew that cooldown, and it's then two minutes before you get your shoot first again, <laughs> before you can use it again. The cooldown on shoot first is not, it's not too long. I think it, the cooldown's instant, but you need to be in stealth. And of course... All right, so Audacity decided just to be a piece of shit and crash in the middle of this, but we'll just slice this in uh, as we go along. So we're talking about uh, getting into stealth. That's where we left off. So you need to get into stealth and then use your shoot first again. Which it is quite annoying. I would like to see shoot first be usable out of stealth. But maybe have it like a 20% less damage if you use it outside of stealth. That way we can use it in our rotation at least. And you know we can get a 20% boost every 2 minutes because we can use it in stealth. So that's why they kind of struggle a little bit as a kind of new player spec. The gunslinger doesn't suffer from those problems. Uh, but again, I like it overall. I like it. As a healer, they're awesome. They're awesome as a healer, I have to say. Um, they are that bursty tank healer. Some people who don't like them say they're a bit too spammy for their liking. You, you are kind of spamming heals a lot as a scoundrel. That is the only thing about the scoundrel that maybe some people put some people off. You've got really less means of preventing damage. You know, you heal just by bombarding, just by slinging as much heals on the tank as you can do. And, you know, we... It is pretty good. Um, PvP wise, we are a brilliant PvP healer because we have mobility. That's our big strength, is mobility as a healer. Uh, mobility and burst healing are our two strengths as a healer. So they definitely are worth rolling, if you ask me. I played a, I played a gunslinger and I had a sniper, but ever since I got my scoundrel to level 55, I have never gone, really gone back to my gunslinger, to be honest. I do everything with a scoundrel, anything smuggler related I do on my scoundrel just because I find it more interesting and I like rogues, if you're a fan of rogues you should definitely roll this class, uh, it's so worth it in the end. Some people still have a downer on their DPS but our DPS is pretty good now, um, certainly where we are in 2.9 there was no changes to the class in 2.9 I think it was 2.6 was the last change to the scoundrel but I like the scoundrel DPS it's so awesome we do have one of the best kind of opening burst rotations as scrapper spec the amount of times that you pull aggro off the tank is kind of funny actually because it is a kind of aggro spec but we have to get all that in while our flechette round is on because we get a nice damage boost while it's on because it increases our armor penetration which is good so we want to get that in so we were in a hurry at the beginning of a fight uh, so, what do you think of the Scoundrel? I love the Scoundrel, personally. I love that class, and 
it is definitely worth rolling. Especially the smuggler story is okay. The agent story is probably the best story in the game. A lot of people love the agent story. It's so well written. It's the most un-Star Wars-y of the stories in the game. If you're thinking of a story that's... Some stories are very much Star Wars. The smuggler one, you're Han Solo, basically. Basically, you're Han Solo. That's it. If you love Han Solo, you're rolling a smuggler. You're rolling a smuggler. Scoundrel... Scoundrel a bit... Scoundrel probably is a bit more like Han Solo than the gunslinger, to be honest. I would say, personally. Uh, again, for the agent story, being an operative probably suits it better. But I guess, I mean, the gunslinger is okay, story-wise, but... Yeah, I mean, you're basically... If you're a fan of Han Solo, you're gonna roll a smuggler, aren't you? You're gonna roll... And the scoundrel is a good choice for the smuggler, actually. The scoundrel is... An excellent choice, uh, if you ask me, for the smuggler. Again, <laughs> it's just so much fun. The the thing is, we 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 are situational in our DPS. The healing is excellent. I love the healing. I love the scoundrel healer. But again, it's it is a choice. You do have a choice. If you're going to be DPS, probably roll the gunslinger. If you know what you're going to do at end game, if you know what you're going to do. Roll a gunslinger. PvP, you would argue for the smuggler, they're actually about even. They, they're very different, the two smuggler classes, gameplay style wise. They are very different. PvP, they're both as effective, really. I mean, you know, any stealth class is good in PvP. I mean, especially with their burst damage and scrapper spec. It's excellent, because you can shut down people so quickly in PvP. As a healer in PvP, they are excellent as well, because of their mobility. They have things like mobility, and things like Scamper gives you a little forward roll thing, and boosts your defense while you're scampering. So again, they're so worth it in PvP as well. Again, I never really did much PvP with my Scoundrel. I did a lot more with my Operative. It was... It was fun. It is fun in PvP. Um, as a healer, we probably are one of the better healers in PvP because we have stealth, mobility, burst healing. Those three things make us the best healer, in my opinion, in PvP. So if you're if you're going to be PvPing endgame and you want to be a healer and you're thinking, should I pick a commando, a sage, or a scoundrel? Pick the scoundrel would be my... And that would be the thing I'd tell you to do is pick... The scoundrel because you're gonna get all those things you can stealth out if you get into trouble you can you know heal on the move you can you've got your scamper of course which is a nice little defensive buff as well gets you out of trouble pretty nicely so again I would say a great class in the game one of my favorites actually my my favorite class I'd probably say my favorite class overall is the scoundrel so if you're a fan of rogues and you like shooting things in the back or stabbing things in the back if you want to roll an agent go for this class as a new, again as a newbie class probably wouldn't recommend it probably recommend the gunslinger or the sniper if you're an agent just because they're a little bit more straightforward and boring if you ask me but yeah that is all for this video next time we are going to take a look at I think we'll take a look at the gunslinger for a change. We'll take a look at the other one. We'll take a look at the sniper slash gunslinger. Probably be doing the gameplay on the sniper. We'll probably refer to everything by the sniper terminology. But again, gunslinger, sniper, same class. So thank you for joining me for this video, and we'll see you soon, and goodbye. Was that us? Yeah, it must be us. Tactical flashpoint, depths of Manan. So there we go, that is all for the depths of Manan. So thank you for joining me for this offline, this rare offline edition of Let's Pug. So thank you for joining me, and it was okay as a flashpoint, I thought it was okay. Um, be interested to do it again, see if there's anything different. So thank you for joining me, and I'll see you soon. And better, better stop recording before Fraps cl clashes. <laughs> crashes even. Thank you for joining me, and goodbye.